In this video, we will review how to provide a user ID with access to logging in and using the Mobile POS app. Note that a user cannot log into this app until the device they are using has been registered in Jonas. For more information, watch the video titled Registering a Device. Before a user can log into the app, they must first be granted Mobile POS and POS access. To grant access, navigate to Administration, User Management, and User Administration. Select the applicable user or create a new user if needed. It is important to note that a user cannot log into the app if they have a password that matches their user ID, i.e. their password must be different than their user ID. Passwords must be at least eight characters in length upon initial login, but can be changed to a shorter length afterwards. If your club is utilizing password controls, passwords for the app generally follow the same password controls that were set up for Jonas. To grant access to the app, select the Mobile POS button and enable Can Access Mobile POS Point of Sale. This flag needs to be active in order for this user ID to have access to the app. The additional device registration settings are related to editing devices slash device registration. You may want to tick the applicable boxes for users who should not have access to these features within Jonas. If this user does not have access to the device registration menu in Jonas, then you do not need to worry about enabling these settings for that user. Click OK. The user will also require POS menu access, which can be granted by selecting the menu design button and making sure point of sale, chip processing, and start a new chit is flagged at minimum. If this user does not have access to this menu item, they will not be able to use the staff app. Click OK to save. Then repeat this step for all users who should have access to mobile POS. Instead of setting up mobile POS per user, a handy option is to create mobile POS security groups or adjust existing security groups. For example, your F&B server group where you can configure the same settings we just looked at, this time for the group, as opposed to an individual user. Then you can go ahead and assign that group to the specific user. This is beneficial because if you need to make any setting changes in the mobile POS button menu, making those changes at the group security level will trickle down to all the users who are part of that security group. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.